How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I wanted to quickly share with you guys a few tips to increase or perhaps double your VPN speed if you're experiencing slow VPN speed and you're looking to increase it dramatically. There are a few steps you can take to optimize your VPN connection. The first step is by using a good VPN. Now a lot of VPNs drop your speed by 40 to 50 and up to 60 or even 70% but a good VPN will maintain speed levels as close to your base speed as possible. And that's why I chose Express, Nord and Surfshark as my top three options right here after having tested quite a few VPNs, about over a dozen VPNs lately, and I've narrowed it down to these three as the fastest and best and most secure overall. They all vary in budgets and features, so you can pick and choose depending on your specific situation and what you're looking for out of your VPNs. You'll find everything you need, by the way, in terms of special discounts, pricing links, and reviews in the description down below. Now, the first thing you wanna do is, first of all, before you even connect to a server, is go to settings and make sure you're using the fastest protocol. So in terms of ExpressVPN, this will be the lightweight UDP protocol with NordVPN. This will be the NordLynx protocol. And with Surfshark, this will be the WireGuard protocol. Okay, and then moving on, you wanna use a wired connection. Okay, so again, before you can connect to a server, you wanna pick the fastest protocol, use a wired connection for the fastest connection possible. You know, if you have a CAT5, a CAT6, just the best ethernet cable that you can find, um, definitely go ahead and use that if you're experiencing some internet issues. And then you wanna to connect to a nearby server. Let's say you're in the States, you're in the East Coast, you're in New York, you don't wanna go all the way to the West Coast or all the way to, to Europe if you're experiencing bad connection. You wanna make sure that you're connecting to a nearby server. So if you're in New York and you wanna change locations but you don't wanna to go too far, you can connect to Buffalo, Toronto, Montreal, Mansus, Chicago, Charlotte, Atlanta, St. Louis, Miami, Kansas. Overall, with these VPNs though, you can connect to international servers and you will barely suffer any connection drops. So this is where a good VPN really comes in handy because these VPNs, especially if you're using the uh, best protocols, the highest performing protocols, you will not be suffering any speed loss, barely any speed loss, really. So, you know, generally, the closer the server, the better. But with these VPNs, I mean, I've been testing them quite a bit. The speed loss with a local server would be around, you know, maybe 10 to 15% or sometimes even below 10% with these VPNs. And when connecting to an international server, let's say across the continent or across the entire globe, you know, maybe you're in um, New York and you're connecting to a Japanese server, you may experience speed loss of around maybe 20% uh, or below 15%, which is great, really. But just make sure that you're using the best performing protocols and any of these VPNs will be very quick. In terms of ranking, I would rank NordVPN and Express at the top, followed up by Surfshark. More often than not, NordVPN does better with uh, local servers, ExpressVPN does better with international servers, and Surfshark is pretty good overall. It's just a little bit behind. I would say maybe about three to six or seven percent slower than Express and Nord. But besides that, they're all incredibly high performing and very secure VPNs. And again, for more information, you'll find everything you need in the description down below in terms of pricing, uh, links to discounts, as well as reviews if you'd like to learn more. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful